So one of my favorite things about being a GCU student uh, is that they really enable us to find our purpose. Actually, if, if you've ever looked into GCU, if you've ever been to a website, if you've ever seen a billboard or a sign, odds are you very quickly realize that their thing is just find your purpose. Enabling our students to find our purpose. And it's really, really appealing because so many people just, they spend so much of their life trying to find their purpose. They, they spend a lot of money trying to figure out who they are and what they're supposed to be. And somewhere along the line though, sometimes we, we get stuck. I know a lot of people who have great passions and desires, but they let being comfortable hold them back from really fulfilling those passions and fulfilling their dreams. And it's not necessarily for bad things. You might have been intended to do blank, but because of a job that you got, it was far more comfortable for you to stay where you were because you were intended to actually do blank, but it was a lot more comfortable for you to go to this school instead of that school. There are a lot of times where we're going to trade comfort for our passions. We, we look at the paths in front of us and we think, man, th this, this is the easier road that I, ha I have. It's, it's not necessarily that we want it the easy way, but it's that we're so unsure of where we're, what's going to happen if we actually follow our own personal passions. Because in there lies our purpose. But in the spiritual sense of everything that's going on, though, what is our purpose, especially us as Christians? Uh, I want to start with saying something that Perry Noble said in a podcast back in 2008. And it's something I think we can all relate to. There's, there's this lie in church world. The idea that if you can't preach, teach, or sing, that you can't be used for the kingdom has been fed to a lot of Christians for a lot of their lives. And ultimately, it's put them on the sidelines of doing work for God's kingdom. There are a lot of Christians with incredible gifts, talents, and abilities that I can't even wrap my head around. There are people who, they can design things with their hands. They, they're the next great architect. It's just so easy for them. Just They can think about it and then start doing it, and then bam, it's, it's on canvas. It's in clay. They, they designed that house over there. there. There are a lot of Christians who, they understand binary, and you know who I'm talking about, because if I say binary and you understand what I mean, all those little ones and zeros that make up everything that the internet is, and it, I can't, I can't understand it. There are so many of us who have these, these these purpose and these talents and these abilities, but we've been tricked into thinking that because we can't teach, preach, or sing, which are all important things, but if we can't do those things, we've been convinced that we belong on the sidelines, and God didn't make us to sit still. That wasn't our intended purpose. We all have gifts, talents, and abilities, and they're all called to use them. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. I can promise you that the God who created the mountains in an instant and designed flowers in a heartbeat and invented the very concept of what we study as molecular biology created you with a way to worship him. You see, worship isn't just singing in a room full of fellow believers. Worship is taking what he's given you and doing it for his glory. So what is that? What are you passionate about? What are you talented at? Now, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. There is no professional athlete or professional musician where they just woke up one day and they're like, you know what? Perfect spiral. Or... The Beatles didn't just all get together in a coffee shop and then leave with a whole bunch of perfect albums. And if you think they're not perfect, this video probably isn't for you. But instead, they worked at these things. They acknowledged, hey, this is what I have, and I'm going to get better at it. We as Christians need to acknowledge what we have. Enable others to use their gifts, talents, and abilities to glorify God. Because ultimately, we exist for one purpose. And that is to worship the creator of the universe who took an instant to create everything we look at and look at in awe, but then handcrafted you and I. You see, God has a purpose, and that's for us to worship Him. But if you really look into it, you see that because of sin, there was this relational issue that happened, but He goes out of His way to go ahead and intercede for us. He dies for us so that we can be in perfect relationship with Him. Ultimately, we have a purpose. Now, I don't know what your specific gift, talent, and ability is. If you're going to watch this video hoping that I would somehow know you and be like, yes, that's your gift, that's not going to happen. But we all have something 
that makes us intentionally unique. That God's saying, please do that. Do that for me. Do that for the kingdom. Thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day.